Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to jump into the tutorial. Today I'm using my Morphe 35O palette. I'm picking up this nice light transition shade that's a little bit deeper than my skin tone and I'm really going to be working this into my crease on a fluffy brush, which by the way I'll have all my brushes linked down below. The purpose of this shade is just to help all the darker shades I'm about to apply blend out a lot easier. So the next two colors I'm going into are those. I'm mixing them together and then I'm going to um, just use the second darker one but what I'm doing is warming up my crease here I'm blending this into my crease and far above it I would say um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything together with the first brush that I used because we really want this look to be nice and blended and smoky so this shade is probably my favorite shade in the palette. What I'm doing is I'm starting that on my outer corner and then I'm bringing it all the way into my inner corner. This is really going to set the tone for the look and tell us how smoky we want it to be so you can keep it really defined to your crease or you can bring it up above your crease like I am. But um, I'm doing this because I really want it smoky and I went back into that shade about three times. I'm taking my time and I'm really packing that color on and blending it out. You're going to see me go into that brush a lot to blend. So now I'm going to start to darken up my crease. This color I'm putting on my outer corner and I'm going to slowly blend that up to my crease and in my crease but I'm really not going too far above it. Um, you'll see here, I'm going to explain it in when I actually do the cut crease, why I'm bringing it above my crease. But what I'm doing, like I said, outer corner and blend it all the way in. We don't really want this on our lid. And then I'm just going back into the brush that I used for that center shade and I'm blending everything together. So now I'm picking up the darkest shade in the palette and I'm doing the same exact thing that I did with the other dark brown. However, I'm going to keep this more confined to my crease and I'm not blending it up quite as far as I did with the first dark brown. This is just going to help us really, really, really have a nice blend. And again, I'm bringing that all the way into my inner corner for the most part. I won't say my inner corner, but really, really, really far into my crease. Um, you guys can see where I place those colors down. And then I'm going into the shade that's in the center of the palette with the same brush that I used for it. And I'm just blending that into my crease. I'm smoking it out and I'm making sure that those dark browns aren't too harsh and that everything is just really, really really nice and blended. It is super important to blend so I'm doing a little bit of that and feel free to go in and add any other colors that you would like to add to either smoke it out or intensify or do any fixing. So like I said you're gonna see me go back into this brush a lot and that is all just gonna help us pay off in the end. So now for the cut crease I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a Morphe B19 brush I believe. I'm starting at my inner corner if you'll notice, I'm holding my mirror a little bit below my face rather than right in front of it. This is because I have a hooded eye, which means that my crease isn't really that defined, so I have to kind of make my own crease. So like I said, I brought those dark brown colors up a little bit further than my crease, and that's because when I cut my crease because of my hooded eye, I have to go a little bit above my crease. So I'm not actually cutting in my crease, I'm cutting slightly above. And that way when my eyes open, you can see two of the colors at the same time, and it's not just you know the brown so that's why that's happening I'm doing the same exact thing and then I'm kind of letting that concealer taper off you guys can do a full cut crease a half cut crease I'm like I'm doing got a little tongue tied there but I'm just doing a half one and then a little trick for you guys I'm going back into that dark brown and I'm just running that right along the conceal the what was that the concealer line just to really intensify and add some contrast to this cut crease so the shade I'm going into is this coppery one it would honestly look gorgeous with any of these shimmer shades in this palette but I really wanted this coppery orange color on my lid and so that's what I'm doing and then I also did spray that with a little bit of setting spray even if you have water fix plus whatever you want all it's going to do is kind of make the eyeshadow a little bit more metallic um, so that's what I'm doing and then I went back into that really, really, really dark brown that we used and I'm packing that again onto my outer corner and I'm blending it into my shimmer shade on my lid and a little bit more into my crease and that's just going to um, kind of finish off that cut crease look for us, the half cut crease at least. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tight line my eye. I'm doing this all the way from my inner corner all the way to my outer corner. This is just going to help to help help to help that's interesting help our lashes look thicker at the base and then I'm just adding some mascara to my top lashes I'll worry about my bottom ones a little bit later this is the scuba mascara from the balm and I absolutely love it I highly recommend it um, this has become my new everyday mascara for sure 
So now I'm going into my lashes. You guys know I love my Salon Perfect number 614 lashes. They are so pretty, they're so wispy, and they're so inexpensive, and they're so easy to put on, and they're so comfortable. I have nothing bad to say about them, so I plop them on the middle, and I affix the outer corner of my lash to my eye, and then the inner corner, and then I just squeeze them together. So now I'm going back into that dark brown shade, and I'm kind of starting on the outer corner of my eye, and I'm working my way in. This look is very smoky, so I'm going literally all the way from my outer corner to the inner corner. And then I'm just going back into that shade that's in the center of the palette and buffing that out so we have a lot of that warmth on the top and bottom lash line. And then to smoke it out even more, I'm using that same eyeliner from Pure. It's black all up in my waterline and then I'm going back making some really ugly faces and I'm putting more mascara on my top lashes just on my lashes but man I'm really tongue twisted today blend together and also on my bottom lashes I'm going into my cargo HD picture perfect illuminating palette which is what I have on my face and I'm using those two shades to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone um, this is a really 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 pretty highlighting palette I highly recommend it and then I'm just going in and touching up my nose highlight because I felt like I was lacking a little bit so I had to touch it up and today I am kind of going to be overdrawing my lips a little bit so I'm picking something that is pretty close to my original lip shade which for me is Whirl from MAC and I am slightly overdrawing my lips. I really wanted them to be a big old statement along with my eyes so that's what I'm doing and now I'm using this sweet cream, cream, man I just can't talk, sweet cream liquid lipstick from Jordana which is a brand that you can buy at most Walgreens and yeah so I'm just going right over my lip liner pretty self-explanatory it's a really pretty kind of like brick mason red color um, but it's also got a lot of brown to it too I think which is really really pretty so once your lips are on that is the finished look so thank you guys so much for watching I'll have everything that I used listed down below um, including my brushes and yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys